if you want your Bretonian or historical knight army to stand out, you have to get your lances right. This is a quick guide on how to do just that. Once you pick your two colors, you need to decide which one's going to be your base coat and which one's going to cover. You want the color that's easiest to cover to go on first. For example, if you were doing a yellow and a red, you'd want to base coat a yellow because it's easier to paint over with red. In this case, I'm doing blue and red, both of which are pretty easy to cover, but the blue covers black better, so I'm starting with that. Just take your time, thin your paints, and get a nice smooth coat up and down your lance. Next, we need a narrow strip of masking tape. I have really good luck with Tamaya. They're made for models. It's thin. Um, it's actually very cheap. If you're going to do models and you want precise lines, you definitely should have this in your arsenal. Then I'm just going to take a straight edge. I'm going to get roughly the thickness of what I want my lance ribbon to be. And then I'm going to cut it off using a razor blade. Here we have a nice, even line for us to wrap around the shaft of our lance. Starting from that handle, we're going to tightly wrap the strip of masking tape around the lance in the pattern we want it to be. Um, emphasis on tight, you don't want any paint to seep beneath the lines, so take your time, go slow, Wrap it very tight, make sure um, when you wrap it under, you don't leave any loose edges. Um, pull it tight when you go underneath. You see I do it right here. And I'm gonna go back and just make sure it's really tight. It gets a little difficult as you work around the flag. From here, you could either fight with it and try to go underneath or you can go over, you're still gonna get a good result this way. You could even stop doing the ribbon at the bottom part of the flag and make it look like it's kind of attached. It's all kind of valid, but for this night, I'm gonna go all the way up the pole, um, regardless of where the banner's at. Now I'm gonna take my secondary color and paint anywhere there's not tape. I'm doing this a lot like I would when I use contrast paints. I'm not pushing the brush in any way. I'm only going one direction. Um, even though that masking tape's there, it's really easy to take the bristles and try to push the paint underneath it. So we're being very careful, very neat. We're trying to save as much cleanup work later as humanly possible. We can just do this by quarter turns, we turn a little bit, we paint everywhere we see the blue color, we do another quarter turn and repeat until the full lance is painted. Now's the fun part as we just carefully unwrap this tape um, and see what we got underneath. Uh, acrylics dry pretty fast, you don't have to leave this setting for long. Honestly, I finished painting the red, I cleaned my brush, I started peeling it off, and it looked just fine. Now we're just going to finish up this lance. I painted the flag the same color red off color. Now I'm doing a base coat of a darker metallic on all the metal bits of the lance. Now 
Now I'm just gonna cover the grip and the little guard on over his hand um, just with wraith bone. Um, I'm gonna hit this with the contrast paint, make it look like it's wood. Honestly, there's a lot of different things you can do here. I do I do the handles brown sometimes, red. Um, I just like a little bit of variety, and this makes it look like the handle of this lance is bare, which is kind of cool, mixed up every now and then. Now I'm adding known oil to the metallics and at the edges of the banner, add a little depth, make it look a little bit more professional. Uh -huh. Overall, known oil just helps make everything look nice. Adding some highlights to the flag here. We're going to add some Griff Charger Gray here along the point. Um, this is just going to help us highlight the bright parts of his spear tip a little easier and just going to add a little bit more interest to the model. Now we're just going to take our brightest metallic um, and just using the side of a very small brush we're going to just rub it back and forth on spots where we think that spear point or lance point would reflect sunlight. And we're going to do the same here for the other metallic parts of the lance. And that is pretty much it for the lance. We have a really nice two-tone lance. By using the masking tape rather than freehand, we're getting really straight lines on our shaft. Um, that looks very nice, especially when you get a whole company of knights together. And here are just a few more um, finished examples from my own library of Bretonian knights. Enjoy. And here's a little teaser of my in progress Buffalo Bills night project. I hope this tip helped. Uh, follow the channel for more little tips like this to help make your Bretonians the best they can be. Thanks for watching.